All right, everybody out there in the Craft Chest Nation, let's do another cooking video. And this time I'm going to show you how to do this boxed artisan crafted Philly cheesesteak uh, that actually came with a full kit. You get a seasoning pack, some noodles, which I didn't even think about this being in Philly cheesesteak, but that's what it comes with, and this cheese sauce. And so we've already browned the meat. As you can see, it's already cooked down here. And I didn't have to drain off of maybe, maybe three tablespoons of grease max. I don't even know if that much came out of it. And that's another reason why I like ground chuck. And as you can see, this may be a little bit over a pound. But I had a, a pretty hefty bit, but not enough to do anything with left on that 10-pound pack. I got like 25 hamburgers, a pound of meat. Uh, set to the side, got that froze, got it in the freezer, and now we're ready to add our water and noodles and season. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add a cup of water in here just to get this up. And what's it say to do here? Let's follow the, the instructions here. All right, stir in two cups of water, season and pack an uncooked pasta. So what I like to do, the meat, a little bit of that water. And then sprinkle this and get it evenly mixed in here, coated onto the top of this meat. And I do this with all of my seasons. I, I like a nice eater. I know a lot of people just dump it in the middle or whatever. But here we're going to do it like that. Get another cup of water. There's another cup of water. But before we add the water, since this is going to mix in quite nicely, let's get the pasta. Let's see if I can get this pasta open. And I want to get it evenly coated across here also oh yeah look at that all right now it doesn't look like a lot of pasta but that's more than enough get this back in here an electric skillet is actually a way to go with this because it's going to get nice flattened out a lot of surface area for that to to cook and get nice and tender is that all it takes is two cups of water? Wow, that don't seem like a whole lot. Now let's mix it up using my patented stirring technique here. Get it all nice and blended in. Mm hmm look at that, uh-oh, noodle got away, no. All right, we're just gonna do it like that for right now. Flatten this out a little bit. Let that come up to a burl and then we're going to come back and check it in, what's it say here? 9 to 11 minutes. All right. So we're going to put that at 10 minutes and then come back and check it. And whenever we're ready to add the cheese sauce and so get it all nice and finished up. All right. So it's been about 11 to 12 minutes. Got this nice and stirred up. I'll let you see that right there. And now it's time to give it a stir one more time and add what makes Philly cheesesteak a Philly cheesesteak which is the cheese and looking in here really I wonder if y'all can see that very well let me see if I can get that a little closer I'm kind of I mean of course it's great value brand what do you want but I was thinking it would have a more aggressive seasoning but it's nice and like there does that make sense and now, I already have this pre-cut. I just cut it before I turn the video on. And it's got this nice little white cheese sauce. And we'll get this in here. Cut it across in here. Ooh, look at that white cheese. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. This used to be the what you wanted to get, the white cheese and the MREs back in the day. I don't know how it is these days, but you had the white cheese. And if you got really lucky, you got the jalapeno cheese, white cheese. Yeah, so let's uh, squeeze out as much of this as we can. Now, what I'm going to do is, briefly, and since I'm going to be editing this, I'm going to let that warm through a little bit and let that cheese uh, get a little warm so it's easier to stir. So, that's warmed up a little bit. Get a little bit more pliable on the cheese there, that, that white cheese. And once again, using my patented folding technique, I'm going to get this all nice and stirred in here get it all nice and coated looking at how much this is i'm gonna be honest with you i'm probably gonna have that much for a meal and probably that much left over for a little later and seeing that it's just mid-afternoon probably i'm gonna do that 
and just snack on this through the day. This is one of those one day meals, definitely not a three day meal because whenever I make one of those, it's like, you know, that much more of it for leftovers for the next day. Let's grab a fork over here because on a hamburger helper or anything else like that, sometimes you gotta doctor them up. That's another reason why I don't buy a whole lot of hamburger helpers or whatever. So many reasons, I just don't do them a whole lot because I don't know, just one of those things. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's pretty decent. That dried bell pepper in there is really coming through. But, like I said, we're gonna doctor this up a little bit. And we're gonna take some fried onions here. We're gonna add these to it. And this is where it's gonna get very, very interesting. Because how much do you want to put? That's why I bought four bags of it. Because usually about a half a bag goes into a skillet meal. Crab chest, slow down, what are you doing? You're you're mad with fried onion power. That's right. I love it. And there you have it. The artisan crafted Philly cheese steak of the apocalypse. Oh yeah, now let's do a test. Let's get some of this in here. Can you get me one of these? Make sure I get some of that fried onion and some hamburger. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And those onions, I'm gonna put the lid back on it. They'll get kind of soggy in there. And then we'll top it off on the plate with a little bit more. Just for a little crunchy. Alright. So there we go. One more look at this. And that right there is super simple. Total process on this, 30 minutes tops. Alright, hamburger meat, cook it, drain off the little bit of excess oil. As you see, this is not very greasy at all. Let me break this to the side because I'm gonna mix this in here anyway. Because like I said, I want it to get a little bit, I want those onions to get a little bit soggy. But as you can see, not a lot of grease down there. Break it this way in case the camera's not picking all that up. Not a lot. Just got some moisture content. And that looks good, huh? Look at that, everybody. Woo! All right, I gotta hurry up. I gotta make some more videos. T2's way ahead of me on these video counts. I gotta go. That's a craft of the mind. Go out there and have some fun. Woo!